This is the guts of a um, Marco eye exam chair with the cushions removed. And the problem is um, getting a proper adjustment for the locking mechanism of this chair so that it um, properly tilts back and locks in the upright position and locks anywhere in between. And it's related to the adjustment of these four screws and the levers they control which will determine if the locking mechanism is going to work properly. The uh, chair locking mechanism is controlled by this switch. Typically by pressing in the switch it allows the chair to tilt and then when you release it, it relocks. Now, in this case it's not, it's not locking even though released and so it's an adjustment of this screw. What happens is um, when the lock button is pressed, it moves from the locked micro switch here to the unlocked micro switch. So it can tilt, and then when you release the lever, it goes back to the locking micro switch and it's supposed to lock. However, there's there's teeth along this shaft which are which is inside this um, behind this bracket and these um, two screws can be loosened and then this lever moved in such a way that the teeth lock onto the shaft and that can be done from uh, both sides here and right now it's uh, it's not locking so with the two screws loosened I um, used this screwdriver to lift up this lever and then once I had it lifted up and then I tightened the two screws and now we're getting a locking of this uh, mechanism which before was was slipping. Um, similarly I played around with the uh, screws on the other side um, but the, the one out of adjustment seemed to be um, on the right side here. So now it looks like we're back into a locking situation. There's lots of different configurations for the uh, seat cushions. Uh, in this case, these um, two clips appear to fit under the edge of the frame here. And um, once in position, the seat back is pushed um, towards the back. Once the seat back is in position, uh, this seat cushion slides um, up against it. And this seat cushion is actually held in place by a little screw that goes into this hole. There's actually a uh, threaded um, a T nut, metal T nut inside of this hole, and it goes through the um, the hole in the frame here. To get to that, you typically uh, tilt the chair, lift the chair up, tilt the chair back, and try to feel the uh, your way to get the bolt uh, into there. This chair was missing uh, the bolt, and the seat just sort of slid out. But I bought a replacement uh, bolt. It's like a wing nut on top of a bolt. And so you can uh, tighten it up without using uh, any tools. So the wing bolt goes into the frame here, but it's got to go... Um, it's got to go to the seat cushion here, but it's got to go through the frame here uh, for uh, proper reassembly. This is another Marco chair that had a uh, problem with the uh, locking mechanism. And uh, I now have it so it locks. What I did in similar fashion is I inserted a screwdriver into this space and lift it up. And I inserted a screwdriver into um, this space and pushed it down and then while the screws were loose and then I retighten them. Same thing over here, they were loose. I loosened them up, lifted this up, retighten them, and now it uh, seems to be locking very effectively. 
Um, this has a different configuration, though, of the cushion. The uh, clips for the cushion appear to fit under these two brackets. And this is a uh, flimsy plastic uh, housing, so it's not, it's not fitting under here. So the, cush the back cushion fits under there. The seat cushion pushes, uh, the back cushion pushes against it. In the same story, the seat cushion um, is secured by the uh, wing bolt through this uh, hole in the frame. Uh, second thing, I've uh, ordered a replacement um, upholstery job for this seat cushion, which is split uh, uh, mainly on the left side, but uh, starting to give way on the right as well. And so I've ordered the matching uh, cushion, and then I'll return this cushion for credit. <clears throat> Uh, same thing once the, the cushion is slid back into place. I've got to sort of tilt the chair back, lift the chair up, and then find where this um, bolt goes through to hook into the the T-nut inside the uh, the wooden framing of the seat cushion. So this is looking uh, from the underside of the, uh, the chair. Um, and this is the, uh, the wing bolt that goes through the frame into the uh, seat cushion and uh, it just retightens to secure the seat cushion in place. Now, even within the, the Marco exam chairs, there's many different configurations for how these seat cushions are secured in place. Some of them have little plastic clips that sort of just push down and snap in place. And then uh, this has the actual bolt that secures the uh, the seat cushion and with the seat cushion in place the uh, the back cushion is secured as well because the seat cushion just pushes up against it